Hey everybody, this is Tommy G. And it's Pete J. And oh my gosh, Pete, coming to you one last time. This is the last regular season home game of the season. And our last regular season home game here for the Arizona Beagles. Yes, sir. The next time we're in this uh, this stadium will be in the visitors box. Yeah. Unless we'll play, unless we get play. Hopefully, we get some postseason play here. We may. That's we true. Play. As it stands now, we do have the wild card, so we will see some, at least some post action, postseason action. Yeah, first we're gonna have to get past this team we got today. One of the one of the St. Louis teams. One of the teams gonna be moving uh, next season. They're gonna be still in the league, but they're moving to uh, a new stadium. Uh, but they're the hot corners. Um, but before I go too deep into what the hot corners are doing. I want to tell you a little bit about that last game. Uh, it ended well. <laughs> it was our second straight game against the Water Bullets, and then things closed out with Hurley Bender having, again, just a phenomenal day. 13 Ks on the day. Here he strikes out uh, Hieronymus Jackson, swing and miss, and uh, way to close it. 13 Ks, and he's at the top of the strikeout list, and he's also the most MVP for the season right now. Yes, sir. I was just going to say, do you think Bender's ready for the playoffs, Tommy? You think he's yeah. ready? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, so that brings us to these hot corners. There's a few uh, changes. This is the only time we play this team this season. Uh, and I think you were mentioned they just had a win, right, an important one? Yeah, they just, uh, they just. I believe it was in the last uh, time they played, they played the Nemesis, and they wound up beating them 7-4. Uh, oh, wow. to four. So, uh, don't sleep on this team because they, you know, they beat some some pretty good teams out there. Yeah, yeah. Well, so let's tell you a little bit about uh, some of the the new or different players. Starting off the top, Ray's Rufo from last season. Uh, he was playing his whole career at the Heaters. He's now uh, he's hitting 291, which is pretty pretty good. Second best average thus far. He's got uh, three home runs, 16 RBIs, a ranked center fielder, making 12.3 million dollars a year. Um. Down from there, we, oh look, we got our old friend. This isn't really new right now. He's he's been here for three seasons, but we let Johnson Swanson go back several years back. Uh, he was he was catcher when we moved here to town. He left and he got picked up by the hot corners. He's been here for years now. He's got a 240 average and um, six home runs. Bad, bad. <laughs> no, Johnson sir. Swanson 111. <laughs> I always remember that. Um, after that, I think it was Turbo Miles. Yeah, Turbo Miles played for the Wild Pigs last three years. He came here this season. Right now, he's got a 230 average, uh, two home runs, 10 every. He's B ranked second baseman. Uh, other than that, it's pitchers. And we look down, we go to um, Will Galindo, is a rookie. They picked him up this year, uh, 27 year old, $4.6 million a year, B ranked. Known mostly for his junk and his accuracy. He's also a good contact hitter. Uh, he's three and three on the, on the season. He's got a five four seventy ERA. Right? So we may see him take the mound here at some time. Or well, I don't know if we see him today. We'll have to see. Uh, other than that, and then it's their closer, Klaus De Game. They picked up an A minus ranked closer. Uh, and Klaus De Game played for the Moose for many seasons. Um, and he's also known as a K man, crazy junk, crazy. What's that? Yeah, I was gonna say, and he's he's got crazy junk and crazy velocity. So, um, yeah, he's now he's gonna be hard to hit. Close the game, although yeah. he's got a uh, two win three three loss record with a 5.06 ERA. That's for a closer. Yeah. That's not what he wants. Yeah, but he has seven saves. I mean, that's true. He does in 16 Ks. Yeah, but 14 walks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Almost so, a walk for every strikeout. Yeah, yeah, right. All right, so um, we got 17 other games to tell you about. It starts off with Freedom in Hawaii at the Burners. Pete, what's the Haps? The Haps are Burners jump out to an early lead. They're going to hold on and win 5-2. to two. The Moose were in LA at the Blowfish. Blowfish all day, 7-7. Water Bullets take it on the Nemesis. Water Bullets out to an early lead. They're going to hold on and win 7-4. to four. Thanks, Water Bullets. <laughs> Grapplers of the Moose Stars. Moose Stars eke it out 3-2. Heaters taking on the Gold Coats. Gold Coats are going to hold on and win 4-2 to two in a tight one. Buzzards at the Platypie in San Diego, and it's close, but the Buzzards win at 6-4. Our sister team, Sandcats, taking on the Freebooters. They jump out early. They're going to uh, expand the lead, and they're going to win 7-4. Burners and Philly at the front runners. Front runners, 4-3. The Outlaws taking on these hot corners. Outlaws are going to take an early lead. They're going to extend and win 8-1. Nice. Houston Jacks, Houston Crocs, all Houston. And the Jacks win at 7-5. 
Warblers taking on the Moonstars. It's a tight battle back and forth, but the Moonstars are going to win it 4-2. to two. <laughs> Arctic's at the wide loads all the way across the country. And it's close, but the Arctic's taking them 7-6. Nemesis taking on the Herbosaurs. Nemesis jumped out and win it 5-2. to two. Yeah, Freedom at the Moose, and it's Freedom 5-1. Crocs taking on the Overdogs, and it's Overdogs 3, Crocs 1. Wild Pigs at the Water Bullets, and it's a Pigs win, 6 to 3. Heaters taking on the Gold Coats, tight one. It's going to be Heaters 4 to 3. Woo! So, in the end, it's going to be in the uh, Pioneer Conference Pathfinder Division. The Blowfish sit atop the Pathfinder with a record of 30 wins and 11 losses. They got a plus 49 run differential. They have a six and a half game lead over the second place Crocodons, who have a record of 24 and 18. Well, 24 and 18, and they're in second place. Uh, the Uncharted Division, San Diego Platypie out in front at 24 and 17, and a plus 26 run differential. Second place team is the Oakland Outlaws at 22 and 19, and a plus 20. Uh, down in the Journey Division, the Grapplers, uh, with a record of 23 and 18, have a tenuous one game lead over both the Sandcats and the Arctics, who are both currently sitting at second place with records of 22 wins and 19 losses. Mm. In the Explorer Conference Seafair Division, Houston Jacks out in front. I literally think they've been there every game all season. They are first place 27 and 14 with a plus 32 run differential. They have a six and a half game lead ahead of the California Gold Coats who are just playing even ball at 21 apiece. Yes, sir. In our very own trade division, the Nemesis with a record of 28 and 13 maintain their stranglehold on first place. They have a three game lead over our very own B Wolves. They got a plus 53 run differential. Second place, the Phoenix B-Wolves, our boys and girls out there on the field. Uh, they got a record of 25 wins, 16 losses. Like I said, they're three games back. They got a plus 55 run differential just behind the B-Wolves. The Herbosaurs with a record of 21 and 20. They're seven games back. Uh, the Sirloins at 18 and 21 find themselves nine games out of first place. And the Water Bullets at 16 wins, 26 losses. They are 12 and a half games out of first place with a negative 45 run differential in their season. Is all but over, Tommy. Yeah, boy, I uh, I just realized here today, this game is against the the team with the best run differential and the worst. Beebles, we are leading with a plus fifty five run differential. The hot corners have a negative seventy one. Oof. The run differential between us is hundred and twenty six, <laughs> right? Yeah, something like that. <clears throat> Holy cow! It says I'm in my curious. contract, no math. No math, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> and they beat the Nemesis. The Nemesis must have been sleeping. Uh, anyway, Curiosity Division, San Diego Moonstars in front at 23 and 18, plus 17 run differential. They have a two-game lead ahead of the San Jose Sawteeth, who are 21-20. Yes, that sir. Us to tonight's game, game 42 of 44. After this one, only two left. It's the 14 and 27 hot corners, so we're having a rough go of it. Against our 25 and 16 B-Wolves, the corners are going to put... Their starting pitcher Noah Kaiser on the mound today. The Kaiser is a right-hander, you know, mostly for his real good accuracy. He's also good at velocity and junk. He's got a one and three record on the season, a 508 ERA and a 187 WHIP, which tells me his team doesn't have much defense. That could be, could be. Um, uh, backing him up is uh, Jumps at second base. He's got good power, very good ability to connect at, at home plate, and uh, better than average speed. He's hitting 256 with nine home runs. Uh, B. Belter out in left field, who's uh, tense right now. Uh, he's got real good power. He's got good ability to connect at, at home plate. He's got uh, better. Uh, well, he's got good speed on the base pass. He's hitting 308 with six home runs. And then Johnson Swanson, who's locked in but not 100% physically fit. Uh, the former B. Wolf has good speed, uh, very good ability to field, and a uh, a good strong arm behind home plate. He's hitting 263 with two home runs. That would sit. That would suggest that you're right, Tom. That they've got offense. They just don't seem to have the defense. Yeah, uh, three three interesting points. Uh, Sock the song is still tied for the lead at RBIs, <laughs> even though he's not playing. I just saw that go by the ticker. Uh, jumps and Belter, both nine and six home runs. So. Uh, that's pretty good. We got to be careful for that long ball. Yeah. And third thing, uh, rumor Swanson might be coming back to uh, the B Wolves next season. It's the rumor on the rumor mill. <laughs> uh, we're gonna put our st uh, second string starter on the mound, Beavis Ortiz, the right-hander, to know mostly for his junk, but he's also got good accuracy and velocity. He's got he's tied 
with a 4-4 four four record on the season, so he'd really love to get one more and make it a winning record. Uh, he's got a 4-1-0 ERA and a 1-1-9 whip. Yes, sir, and backing him up, uh, superstar shortstop Hanley Dexterous, who's locked in right now. He's got better than average power. He's got uh, excellent ability to connect, very good speed on the base pass. He's hitting 338 with 14 home runs. Um, next to him, uh, locked in Sturdy Woodman, the first baseman with a better, av- better than average power, good ability to connect, but he's uh, a little bit less than average speed on the base pass. He's hitting 397 with seven home runs, and then Buster Biggs, the left fielder, with better than average power, less than average ability to connect, and better than average speed on the base pass. He's hitting 388 with four home runs, Tommy. Oh, hey. <laughs> Well, yeah, 20, 25 home runs between all three of those guys. That's, that's great. And two locked in guys, too. That's going to help us. Getting the lineup for assistant coach. Look at like it is. Andrew Duckstairs is going to play shortstop and bat first. No big surprise. The locked in shortstop coming off a career game in that last one. Uh, Buster Biggs is going to be a left field bat in second. It, uh, it's, uh, first base is going to be Sturdy Woodman. He'll bat third, and he's also locked in as well. One of three people's. Batting fourth cleanup, Steve Monstor. We're going to get the offensive catcher today, so hopefully Steve puts him on the board, get some practice for the playoffs. Hammerlong Wall is going to come out and play right field, bat fifth, batting sixth, Bertha Banks, the third locked in, B-Wolf. She'll be at third base. And batting seventh, Freddie Knox at second base. In center field, Magic Moore. Unless we, unless with this kind of game, do we want to put in some, some other players to give him some, or no? We're trying to catch up to first place. It's tough. I mean, what do you think? Yeah, I mean, we have an opportunity. We could still try to catch the nemesis. Um, we've got four a four-game lead now over the Herbisaurus for the wild card. Um, so I don't know. I mean, it's really kind of a toss-up. At this point, I, I would say, look, if we could let's let's sub players in if we get a if we get a good lead, you know. There you go. Okay. Yeah, or if someone's not hitting. Right. Uh, and Beavis Ortiz will bat ninth. And, uh, yeah, this will be the last time. Well, no, I should, unless we're playoffs, it'll be the last right. regular season game where we have pitchers hitting. Uh, Beavis Ortiz will bat ninth. He'll throw the four-finger cu- curveball slider to the fourth pitch. Ready to go, Joe? I'm ready. All right, let's get this train steaming. All right. Nine, uh, uh, beautiful day in Phoenix, but they got the roof closed, so it must be a hot one. Hot one yeah. out there, folks. Sizzle. All right. So the uh, hot <laughs> corner lineup is going to look something like this. Ray's Rufo is going to lead off, play right field. Sportswood playing first base, batting second. Jumps batting third, playing second base. Belter in left field. Price at third base. Miles is shortstop. James in center field. DeGrand catching. Uh, so as the B-Wolves take the field, Ray's Rufo, Dick Sportswood, and Jeb Jumps are going to get ready to face off against Beavis Ortiz, who's taking a bump with that 4.1 ERA. Now batting. Play ball. Ray's Rufo, the center fielder, neutral and fit in 296 with three home runs. Oh, 16 RBIs. All right, All right. And people's got to be careful because these guys showed that if you're if you're complacent, they'll be a great team like they did. Whoa! Against the uh, nemesis and Magic Horse is going to run up. The first pitch of the game is a hit by Rufo at the center field. The first one out with no outs. Dirk That's bringing Sportswood. Dirk Sportswood. Look a little tense recently at 228 on the season. Four home runs, 11 RBIs. Got a faster than average speed runner at first base. And a slow catcher who throws it. I don't get him. Yeah. He's, th- it he's throwing out a couple of guys this year. Threw it at 99%. Just, and it wasn't ready for him to take off on that one. But the Beatles fans are going nuts. They love it. You don't usually see that from a catcher with an arm like Steve Munster. But like Pete said, he's doing okay. That's in there for strike. We've got 1-1-1. <laughs> uh oh. Right in the line. That's going to Freddie Knox and pick that off the ground. One pump throw to first. We'll get him two thirds of the way there. Two, uh, three up, two down. And Jeb Jumps is going to come in now. He's locked in. Second baseman for the hot corners. Hitting 256 on the season with nine home runs, 28 RBIs. Great contact hitter with great power. Fouls that back off the wall. Outfield's going to fade deep because they respect. Jeb jumps. Oh, he checks in the last one. It's a strike, though. Outside corner, 0-2. Beavis Ortiz hoping to get out of this inning with no blemish. Strike three. So strike three. He does. Way to K at the right time. Yes, sir. So we're heading into the bottom of the first. Still no score. Hanley Dexter as Buster Biggs and Sturdy Woodman getting a first look at Noah Kaiser. 
who's going to take the bump for the uh, hot corners with a 5.08 ERA. Come on, boys, let's get it started early and often. Hanley Dexter is locked in and fit a tough out utility player hitting 338, 14 home runs, 29 RBIs. First pitch to Dexteris is over the outside corner for called strike. Strike one. That one swung and fouled straight back. Very quickly, Dexteris in the hole 0 and 2, but he's a tough out. That one's fouled off straight back as well. Noah Kaiser known as a K Dud. That one's lifted into the stands along the first baseline. No ball, two strikes. That one's foul. Hot smash along the first baseline. Foul ball. That one's foul along the third base left field line into the stands. Kaiser's throwing his seventh pitch to Dexteris. That's outside, ball one. One and two now. That's off the plate, ball two. Two and two. Count is evened up. Ball three, full count now to Hanley Dexteris. Three and two. That one's fouled straight back. Three balls, two strikes. That one's lifted into right field. The right fielder is under it. Ray's Rufo will make the catch for the first out, one out. But Noah had to throw seven, ten, uh, ten pitches to him. <laughs> yeah, Buster Biggs, three and eight, four home runs. Hey, and there's one in the right center field, and Buster Biggs is going to make it on, and he's going to round first on his way to second. He's going to have to slide in, but he'll get that double. Way to go, Buster. Beagle's looking good so far, Pete. Yes, sir. One on, one out, and in steps Sturdy Woodman, the locked-in first baseman. He's fit, hitting 397, seven home runs, 30 RBIs. Buster Biggs at first base has some speed. First pitch to Sturdy Woodman's in there for called strike, strike one. Allen's inside, ball one. One ball, one strike, one out. That's outside, ball two. Two and one now to Sturdy Woodman. Kaiser throws. There's a smash. That's going to get caught by the left fielder, Bolter. And uh, the guy had to get back to second base. Steve Monstour stepping in. Hey, hey, guy. Yeah, Steve. Buster <laughs> I'm sorry. Steve, Steve Monstour, 330, 10 home oh, runs. Oh, Easy oh. pop up. To second base, waving that off. Should be the third out. Yep. It is. Miles pulls it in for three. So we're heading into the top of the second. Still no score. Both teams with a hit. Bo Bolter. Aliyah Price and Turbo Miles going to get a first look at Beavis Ortiz, who threw seven pitches, racked up a strikeout, and gave up one hit in his half of the first. Bo Bolter, the center fielder, is tense but fit, hitting 308 with six home runs, 22 RBIs. First pitch from Ortiz is driven into the center field. And Magic Moore's going to come up throwing and makes the throw to second and holds Bolter to a single. So one eye with no outs and in steps Aaliyah Price. She's tense but fit in 248 with four home runs, 26 RBIs. Bo second, Bolter. Second. Go ahead. I was going to say second straight uh, batter to get on on the first pitch. Yeah. Great. Bo Bolter's got a little bit better than average speed at first base. First pitch to Price is called a strike. Throw to first, and Bolter is back. One on, no outs. Aliyah Price, the third baseman, takes that pitch, and that'll even count. One ball, one strike. Ortiz steps off the rubber, and Bolter gets back to first. No play. Allen's outside, ball two. Two balls and a strike now to Aliyah Price. That's inside. Oh. That one's inside ball three. So it's three balls, one strike to Aaliyah Price, the hot corner third baseman. That one's fouled straight back. Three and two, full count now. Three balls, two strikes. Throw over to first. And Bolter is back. Three and two. Ortiz delivers his 14th pitch. So we're going to make strike three. Down goes Aaliyah Price. So one out with one on, and in steps Turbo Miles, the second baseman. He's neutral and fit. He's known as a stealer. He's hitting 232 with two home runs, 11 RBIs. So with one out, one on. Ortiz paying attention to Bolter over there, making sure he knows. First pitch is in the air to uh, Hammerlong Ballo, and he makes the catch for the second out and a quick throw in to the cutoff man and that'll hold Bolter at a first base. So with two outs, Bo Bolter at first base, in steps Geronimo James, the center fielder. He's neutral and fit, favors the outside pitch. He's hitting 243 with no home runs, eight RBIs. Oh. So Bo Bolter took off with the pitch. It was a strike, but he was able to take second base. So the, the uh, only time I don't throw over. Yeah. 
No balls, two strikes to Geronimo James, the center fielder. Two outs with a runner at second base. That's in there for a called third strike, and James just watched that go by. So we're going to head into the bottom of the second. It's still no score. Hammerlong Ballo, Bertha Banks, and Freddie Knox will get their first look at Noah Kaiser, who threw 17 pitches, gave up a hit in his half of the first. Here we go. Hammerlong Ballo's neutral and fit. He's hitting 333, I mean 331 with nine home runs and 25 RBIs. First pitch of long ball is outside. Ball one. One ball, no strikes. Allen's fouled straight back. That evens the count at one and one. Ooh, that catches the outside corner. One ball, two strikes. Kaiser again, a K dud. Known as a K dud around the league. That one's high, ball two. That evens the count at two and two. No. Allen's high as well, ball three. Three balls, two strikes. Allen's high as well, ball four. And Noah Kaiser has walked Hammerlong Ballo. So one on with no outs and steps Bertha Banks. Wow, that last one could have gone either way. I thought it was going to be a strike. Bertha Banks, 351, nine home runs, 28 RBIs. Hard oh. liner in the center field, but that's going to be straight into the glove of Geronimo James. And uh, Hammers have to come back to first base. I was right on that one. One out, yeah. one on. Freddie Knox, neutral and fit, 286 with a home run, eight RBIs. Yeah, he, yeah. There's a shot that's going to drop in front of the left fielder. And uh, Hammerlong Ball will take second. So runners at first and second now with one out. Beewell's got something happening here in the bottom of the second. In steps Magic Moore. Yeah, Magic Moore, 316, four home runs, 11 RBIs. I thought that last one was going to hang up a little long and get caught. Fans cheer him on. Pressure up. Beewell's hoping for that first run. The first one's in the first strike. Oh, in the count. Magic Moore. Safety's off now. That one's a ball. Good eye. Good patience. 28th pitch. By Noah Kaiser oh, here no, in the second no, hand. No. Pop up behind the plate. Will it go back far enough? And it will off the net. Gets a reprieve there. One and two the count. Fans cheering on the magic man. And oh, it's on the inside corner for a strike three. <laughs> Dang, mammoth. Two outs. Runners at first and second. Beavis Ortiz steps up. He's neutral and fit. He's hitting 353 with two RBIs. Wow. First pitch to Beavis Ortiz fouled out. And out of play behind home plate over the backstop. That one's fouled straight back. Two quick strikes now on Beavis Ortiz. No balls, two strikes, two outs. Ball inside. That one's inside, ball one. One ball, two strikes. That one's lifted. Oh. It's going to be a blooper into center Dang. field. And the B Wolves are going to score their first run. Yeah. And Beavis wow. Ortiz will pick up another RBI. And so with runners at first and third, in steps Hanley Dexterans. He, he was down 0-2. Oh, I thought, well, it's just a matter of time. Hanley 0-1 for on the day. Takes the first pitch high. Ball 1-1-0. One, one, oh, the count runs at the corners. Two outs. That was a different strike. Now safety's off. And here comes the thunder. Oh, strike two. 1-2 and two the count. Here comes the thunder. <laughs> Outside. Good eye. Good patience. The veteran batter. He's not swinging at junk. 2-2-2. Two, two, two. Low and away. He's going to have to throw to him. <laughs> 38th pitch. Instead, he walks him. Yeah, you know, he was too nervous throwing a Hanley beat. Yes, sir. So base is loaded with two outs. Buster Big steps in. He's neutral and fit. He's one for one with a double. Bases loaded for Biggs, who started the game with a double. First pitch to Biggs is in there for a called strike. Strike one. That's in there for a called second strike. No balls, two strikes, two outs. Allen's lifted into right field and everybody's going to keep running. Ray's Rufo is going to pick that out of the air for the third out but the people will put one on the board Tommy we're going into the top of the third hot corners no runs on two hits Beewolves one run on three hits Tiny DeGrand and Noah Kaiser are going to get their first look at Beavis Ortiz Ray's Rufo one for one Ortiz at 18 pitches Tiny DeGrand the catcher is neutral and fit 172 two home runs six ribs our hitter with fair contact. Number 22 stand right hand batter's box. Little sway in the hip. First pitch misses inside. Ball one. One of the count. Number 43 going to throw just his 20th pitch now here on the top of the third. Swing late and a miss. We're even out one apiece to Tiny DeGrand. The aptly named. Oh, hard liner to left field. It's going back and that's going to be a home run. Yeah. Spriggs jumps, but it's off the bullpen. Off the riser, short of the bullpen, tiny to ground, scores the first one for the hot corners. That one goes 378 feet of a left field wall. It's his third home run and a seventh RBI this season. Just like that, the hot corners erase the B-Wolf lead. And uh, 
Noah Kaiser is going to come up now. The starting pitcher. Noah Kaiser, a, uh, a better hitting pitcher than your average. Oh, he gets a line drive to left field. That's going to drift foul, and that's going to go about five or six rows back. Oh, one the count to Noah Kaiser. Hughes Ortiz shakes off that last one, throws it in for a ball. Now we're even at one apiece. Top of the third, one apiece. That one's on the ground to Sturdy Woodman. He's going to pick it up easy, take a few steps, and toss it to Beavis Ortiz, who's covering the bag. Two down. The fans cheered him on. The Beavis going to come right back. Beat Ray's roof a one for one with a single on the day. Right fielder for the the St. Louis Hot Corners. St. Louis this year checks on that first beautiful breaking pitch inside, misses ball one, one of the count. Swings down, fouls that fastball off the wall. And we're even now at one piece. 27th pitch. Oh, just misses that outside corner. Tries to bring it back, but it fails. 2-1. Checks on that one. That's a strike, though, now. Two apiece. Khabibus close it out with a K. And under 30 pitches. Here's 29. Reaches down, fouls it off. Foul ball. We have to go to that 30th pitch. Steve Mustro is going to give him the single. He winds up, throws it. Oh, traps it in the dirt. Good trap, Steve. Now our full count. Three and two. Fans didn't like that. <laughs> he gets the outside corner. Ends up with a K. But that's two outs. I was wrong about where we were in the gun. Now it's Dick Sportswood, the first baseman, 0 for 1 on the day. Looking a little tense recently. It's a good contact hitter, though. He can always do damage. He's got a few long balls this season. Oh, that one inside. Misses ball one, one of the count to the Sportswood. Checks on that one, but it's in there. Low side, strike one, one apiece. Strike, strike two, follows up with another one, one or two. He's got his back against the wall. Can be Mr. Ortiz punish him. Reaches down, hits that grounder to Freddie Knox. He's going to pick it up one from throw to first, and they close out the side. Yes, sir, but they put one on the board, so we're going into the bottom floor of the third. The score is tied, 1-1. Sturdy Woodman 0 for 1, Steve Von Stewart 0 for 1. Hammer long ball walked his first time up. Kaiser at 42 pitches with a strikeout, giving up two walks and three hits. Here we go. Sturdy Woodman, the first baseman, locked in and fit. He's 0 for 1 today. Good contact hitter. It's a lot of words. That one outside, corner ball one. One will count to Sturdy Woodman. First nope. baseman for the Beewolves. Fouls that back off the wall. Now we're going to want a piece. Rapid fire. Who Rufo gets that in, or Kaiser gets that in for a strike. One and two now. Uh, pops that one up in the right center field. They're running for it. They're going to make that grab. Rufo comes over from right field and catches it. Ooh. One up, one down. In step, Steve Munts through the catcher. Neutral and fitting. He's got power versus right handed pitching. He's 0 for 1 today. He threw somebody out trying to steal in the first inning. First pitch to Steve Munts through in there for a called strike. Strike one. Ball inside. That one's inside, ball one. One ball, one strike with one out. That's that one's down. low ball two. Two balls and a strike now to Monstour. That one's no. lifted into right field. The right fielder is calling for it. And Ray's Rufo will make the catch for the second out. Two up, two down, in steps Hammer along. Ball oh. <laughs> Hammer had a walk earlier. Fans cheered him on. One swing of the bat could put us ahead with Hammer, man. First one's right in for a strike, Oh one. one Second one was a little bit low. We're now one apiece. Inside swing fouls back off the wall. One and two. There's the K dud though. 54th pitch. Foggy gets this out. Fouls that down. Still one and two. Gets a new ball. Throws it. In, Come on. Strikes him out. <laughs> <laughs> That's twice. It's twice. We're going into the top of the fourth. It's still tied 1 1. Jeb jumps over one with a strikeout. Bo Butler. Uh, Bo Belter. One for one. And Aliyah Price. 0 for 1 with a strikeout. Beaver so Ortiz at 35 pitches with four strikeouts. Jeb jumps, locked in and fit. He's the stealer. 0 for 1 today. <laughs> First pitch to Jeb jumps is in there for a cold strike. Strike one. Jeb jumps playing second base for the hot corners today. That's down. That one's low. Ball one. One ball, one strike. Now the jumps. Ortiz delivers. There's a roller and Hanley back there. Oh, and just couldn't pick it up. So Jub, uh, jumps with a single to center field. One on with no outs. In steps Bo Bolter. Belter. He's 10th and fit. He's one for one with a single. Jeb jumps known as a stealer on first base. Is he now? First pitch to Bo Belter is in there for a called strike. Strike one. 
Throw over to first, and the runner is back. Jib jumps at first base. Bo Belter, the left fielder, he's off with the pitch. Steve Monstor makes the throw, but again, not in time, even though he's hitting the button. As soon as I hit that, hear that stupid sound. I know, it's just with Steve Monstor, it's... Foul ball. That one's yeah, fouled man. off. No balls, two strikes, no outs. Runner at second base. That one's a low ball, one. One ball, two strikes. Bo Belter tense, but fit. That one's ripped foul. He'll get another pitch. One ball, two strikes. That one's fouled straight back. He'll get another pitch. Ortiz now at 44 pitches in the top of the fourth. That one's fouled straight back. No ball, I mean, one ball, two strikes. Bo Belter, the left fielder against Beavis Ortiz. Ortiz, that one's fouled straight back. Jeez. One ball, two strikes. We're up to 46 pitches. Outside. That one's outside, ball two. That evens the count. Two balls, two strikes. That's in there for called third strike, and Belter didn't even offer at it. Just watched it sail by. One out, one on. Aliyah Price, the third baseman's tense, but Fitch, he's 0 for 1 today. Jeb jumps at second base, known as a stealer around the league. One out. Foul. Leah Price fouls that one back. Strike one. There's a roller to Sturdy Woodman. He's going to step on first for the out and make the throw to third. It won't be in time. Jeb jumps will take third base, but two outs now, and in steps Turbo Miles, a second baseman. I didn't see what he was. So two outs with a runner at third. He's the guy. Ortiz fouls it off along the third baseline. Strike one. That's over the outside corner, but for a call to strike. Strike two. There's a broken bat. Foul ball into the stands along the first baseline. Sturdy Woodman gets chased, but again, it was in the stands. No balls, two strikes, two outs. That one's low, ball one. Turbo Miles, the shortstop. He takes that pitch for a call, third strike. He's not happy about that, but we're going to head into the bottom of the fourth. Score is tied, 1-1. One, one. Bertha Banks 0 for 1. Freddie Knox 1 for 1. And Magic Moore 0 for 1 with a strikeout. Noah Kaiser at 55 pitches with two strikeouts, two walks, giving up three hits. His ERA is down to a 4.91. Bertha Banks is locked in and fit. She's 0 for 1 today. Come on, Bertha. Let's get it going here. All right. Bottom of the fourth score is tied, 1-1. One, one. There's a ground ball in the center field, and Bertha Banks will start the uh, bottom of the fourth with a leadoff single. So we'll run on with no outs, and in steps Freddie Knox. Ray, Freddie. Freddie. Freddie's one for one, a single. <clears throat> what you can do? He's got an average speed runner at first base. Infield playing normal. Uh, and uh, Kaiser comes right in with a strike, a 1-1. One, one. Fouls that off the net, 0-2. Freddie is in a hole, but he's a K-Dud. Outside corner. Liner to third base. Price throws the second for one, but she will not catch Freddie at first. So they take the lead runner. Freddie makes it out with a single. Yes, sir. One out with one out. Magic more neutral and fit. He's 0 for 1 today. He's got good connection versus left handed pitcher, and he's known as a stealer. First pitch to Magic Moore is in there for a called strike. Strike one. That's inside. That one's inside. Ball one. One ball, one strike, one out. Kaiser takes his time. That's outside ball two. Two balls and a strike. There's a shot. That's going to get into the gap between left and center. And Freddie Knox is going to come all the way around. And he's going to score with a double from Magic Moore. And the B-Wolves take the lead two to one. So with one out and a man on second, Beavis Ortiz steps in. Way to go, Freddie and uh, Magic Combo. Beavis one for one with an RBI. <laughs> Not your usual hero. Oh, no, no. Come That's on. be an easy pop-up in the shallow left field. The second baseman, Turbo Miles, goes there and makes a grab. That's two down. Yes, sir. Two down with a man on second. Haley Dexter's locked in and fit. He's 0 for 1 with a walk today. Magic Moore, known as a stealer on second base. First pitch is high. Ball one. There's a shot. That's going to get into right field, and Ray's Rufo is going to be able to track it down and make a catch for the third out. So again, the B-Wolves put one more on the board, making it 2-1 B-Wolves as we head into the top of the fifth. Geronimo James 0-for-1 with a strikeout. Tiny DeGrand 1-for-1 with a home run. Noah Kaiser 0-for-1. Beavis Ortiz at 55 pitches with six strikeouts, giving up four hits. Geronimo James. Geronimo James. 
Yeah, he, uh, get a little more altitude on that Hanley one, <laughs> that gun. Geronimo is good contact hitter. Watch the first one outside, strike one, no swing. Oh, one the count. Safety off now for the hot corner center fielder. That one misses high. Now we're knotted up at one apiece here. A lot of kids watching the last game of the last home game of the regular season. That one's low for a ball. Had to step away for a second there. Clear the throat. Oh, inside pitch. Toss back up the ball. Now we're knotted up to a piece. Beavis here is locked in. Throws a 60th pitch. It's going to go foul in the grass on the third base side. Still two apiece. Dose to P.S. Hey, and he gets the slider inside corner for the strike. And uh, what a game he's having today, huh, Pete? Now here comes the home run here. Though. Tiny to ground one for the home run. Got to be careful. This is this gay. First pitch. Oh, my goodness, Ortiz. Chin music. Has him jumping back out of the strike zone. Outfield deep. Freddy jumps, but cannot make it. Magic Boy's got to chase that down. Tiny's having a good old day, isn't he? Magic Boy's yep. going to pick that in and throw it into the cutoff. Freddy knocks and he gets him, starts off with a double. And that plays against uh, against Ortiz's mojo. Now it's Noah Kaiser, the pitcher, 0 for 1. They got a slow run at second base, nothing to worry about there. Uh, Beavis Ortiz could drop Kaiser and get right back in this and sort of negate that tiny thing. But it's a beautiful punt. It, oh, my gosh. Beavis Ortiz flubs flubs the pickup. There's a comeback. It was the bunt straight to him. It goes right under his glove. And and nobody's out. All right, now they got to hope for that double play. They got Ray's Rufo. Great contact hitter. Pressure up. One out. And the hot corner is threatening to tie this thing up again. The first one's low. Got to run a third base, but they didn't get that double play. It wipes the slate clean. Oh, it's a hard hit to right center field, and instead, it's off the home run pole. It's a three-run home run. Now, that's that is the worst possible thing. Wow, he hit that 391. It's Rufo's fourth home run and 19th RBI of the season. And just like that, the hot course take commanding 4-1 lead. And that brings in Dirk Sportswood, the first baseman. 10, so for two. Now Beavis Ortiz is 10, so does a 67 pitch. Gets away from Steve Monster, 1-0. That went up high, 2-0. Having a hard time dialing it in. Hey, he gets a strike there on the curveball down low. 2-1 now. Swing and a miss, strike two. Beavis Ortiz is going to come back. He's going to come back for this P. We can get this back. It's a pop fly to right field. Hammerlong Ballo back at the track. Catches it right in front of the wall for the second out. <laughs> Luckily, there's no wind in here. Yeah. Jeb, Jeb jumps locked in. One for two on the day. Good power and contact. First pitch inside up. He'll fade in deep because you never know. That one misses low. Good pitch, but he doesn't chase. They're not chasing the... There, there's one on the ground. And Freddie Knox is going to pick that up. One pump throw to first to close up the side beat. Yeah, we're going to head into the bottom of the fifth. Hot Corners put three on the board, making it 4-2. Hot Corners. Buster Biggs, one for two with a double. Sturdy Woodman, 0 for two. Steve Monster, 0 for two. Noah Kaiser at 66 pitches with two strikeouts, two walks, five hits. The Zeres at a 5-0-2. Buster Biggs, neutral and fit, one for two with a double. Beeble's coming back. They're going to get this thing back, man. They're going to beat this last place team in the world. Nope. That's a pop-up. left. <laughs> Not this one. That's an easy pop-up left field. Bo Belter waves that up, makes a catch one down. In steps Sturdy Woodman. He's neutral and fit. He's 0 for 2 today. <laughs> Nobody on, one out. Kaiser delivers. There's a smash. Ground ball in the center field. That'll be a single for Hammerlong Ballo. Sturdy Woodman. One. Oh, Sturdy Woodman, one out, with one out, and in steps Steve Monstour. He's neutral and fit. Steve Monstour 0 for 2. If he goes 0 for 3, we're going to see Fiona Clark coming into this game. There's 0 for and 3. And there he goes, 0 for 3. Easy yep. pop up in the center field, making it easy. Yep. Hey, get out of here. Go take a shower, Steve. Two outs. <laughs> Might as well not even play. Hammerlong ball on neutral and fit. 0 for 1 with a walk. One on with one out. Uh, two outs now. Two outs. One on, two outs. Hammerlong ball. Smash single in the center field. Runners at first and second now with two outs. And when the next batter pops out, we're in the <laughs> inning. <laughs> Bertha Banks know. will be our next contestant talking? in the pop-up show. Are you picking up on a pattern here? Yeah. <laughs> All 
All right, here it comes. Bang! Right in there for a strike. Olin Akali is pitching high, isn't he? He wants you to get under that, under that one. Oh, that one's low. There we go. Now, what even a one piece pressure up. Bottom of the fifth. Four two. There's a liner in the left field, and that's going to be a nice clean single by Bertha. Everyone's going to hold up. Eagles got the bases loaded, Pete. Yes, sir. With two outs again, though. Freddie Knox neutral and Phillies one for two with a single. Bases are loaded. Bewell's down by two. Big hit here. That one's low ball one. One ball, no strikes. Kaiser at 75 pitches. There's a shot. That'll get up into center field. And we're going to have two runs try to score here, and they'll do it. So the score is tied now. Two outs, runners at first and third, I think. Magic Moore steps in. Who was that guy no, first who and said... Who was the guy who called it? Said the Beatles were to come right back. <laughs> Pressure way up. Early okay. swing, foul ball first. But he just wanted to hand out a souvenir to his family in the upper deck on the first baseline. Don't want to count. No. And that was to friends behind home plate. <laughs> oh, two, two outs. What are you doing, Magic? Late swing, foul ball. Goes to third. Fans cheering him on, though. They know he can do it. There's one in the center field, and the runner's going to come around from third. The others are going to hold up, and they're going to get another run. Pete Polrose take the lead. There's yes, the sir. Slaps, you know? Yep, yep. 5 4 B Wolves in steps. Beavis Ortiz, he's neutral and fit. One for two with a single and an RBI. Noah Kaiser is going to take a seat. They're going to bring in Grump Everbright. Grump Everbright, the relief pitcher with a 3.67 ERA, a 1.37 whip, 48 strikeouts. He's neutral and fit. He's got poor velocity, but he's got good junk and about average accuracy. He's not fully rested. He throws a four-seam fastball, a screwball, and a curveball. I, I like how you pause when you're reading, like, did I get this name right? <laughs> I'm not getting there. <laughs> Swing and a miss. Beavis Sortiz, strike one. No balls, one strike. Two out. Oh. Man. That curve back in for a called second strike, and very quickly Ortiz in the hole. Oh, and two. Swing and a miss, strike three. Down goes Beavis Ortiz, but we're going to head into the top of the sixth. It is Hot Corners, four runs on seven hits. B Wolves, five runs on ten hits. Bo Belter, one for two with a strikeout. Aliyah Price, 0 for two with a strikeout. Turbo Miles, 0 for two with a strikeout. Ortiz at 74 pitches with seven strikeouts and giving up seven hits. Bo Belter, tense but fit. He's one for two with a single today. Single and a strikeout. Came Belter here today to left watch baseball. There's a shot. Going, oh, that was a bad Oops. deal. Okay, so it's a single to um, center field, but Magic Moore tried to slide and pick it up, and that's going to let Bubble Belter take third base on the leadoff hit. That was <laughs> stupid. That's why I don't do that very often. <laughs> Aliyah Price, tense but fit 0 for 2 today. So Bo Belter at third base with no outs. Leah Price fouls that one straight back. Not having a good game today. Six <laughs> oh, innings. That one's fouled straight back, and very quickly, Aaliyah Price is in the hole. No balls, two strikes, no outs. This would be a big hey. strikeout for Ortiz if he can put down Aaliyah Price with this pitch. Strike three, and he does it, so one out with one on. Ortiz at 78 pitches. Turbo Miles is tense, but fit. He's 0 for 2 today. Now batting, Bubbles Garcia. They're going to pull Turbo Miles here. They're going to bring in Bubbles Garcia. Bubbles Garcia, the pinch hitting left fielder, is a C plus ranked uh, pinch hitter. He's hitting 257 with a home run, nine RBIs. He's neutral and fit. He's got better than average power, but less than average contact and poor speed on the base path. So, with one out and one on, Bubbles Garcia comes in to pinch hit. First pitch is uh, low, ball one. A one ball, no strikes. That's in there for a called strike. That evens the count. One ball, one strike, one out. That one's a low ball, too. Two balls and a strike now to Garcia. That's in there for a called strike. That re-evens the count at two balls, two strikes, one out. One more pitch. That's fouled straight back. Garcia will get another pitch. Two and two now. That's in there for call, third strike, down goes Bubbles Garcia, and now with two outs, in steps Geronimo James, the center fielder. He's neutral and fit, favors the outside pitch, but he's 0 for 2. You know how many strikeouts Beavis has? I think he's up to about 9 or 10. First pitch there, James is in there for called strike, strike 1. There's a shot, and it's going to be into center field, that'll tie the game. So a single... For Geronimo James brings in Bo Belter and the score is tie five five. We got a dog fight here, Tommy. Tiny DeGrand, the center. I was going to say we came came here to watch a baseball game. We got a tug of war. 
<laughs> yes, sir. Tiny to ground, hitting 197. And the throw, and they don't get him again. God dang it, why? Oh, I'm throwing. Right. I'm hitting the button as soon as as soon as I hear the sound. I'm I'm hitting the button. He's he's got an awful arm. And and uh, he uh, we were going to bring in. That's we were going to bring in Clark. We forgot. Yeah. <laughs> one ball, one strike, two outs. Runner at second base now in uh, Geronimo James. Tiny DeGrand. He hits a, a, a fly ball in the right field. Hammerlong ball will make the catch though on the run. But the, the hot corners put another one on the board. It makes it 5-5 as we head into the bottom of the sixth. Hanley Dexter is 0 for 2 with a walk. Buster Biggs 1 for 3 with a double. And Sturdy Woodman 1 for 3. Grump Overbright threw three pitches and racked up a strikeout in his half of the sixth. Thing, fifth. Hanley Dexter is locked in and fit. Tough out utility player. All right, so they're going to pull Bubbles Garcia here, Tom. They're going to bring in Dig Forto. The C-ranked uh, shortstop of Fordo with one error. He's got a .086 batting average. No home runs. He's neutral and fit. He's got poor speed, but he's a uh, very good fielder with a, a better than average arm, and he's known as a utility player. So, so you got that. You got this crazy junk coming in for a strike. Over the count. Fifth pitch by Grump everybody up high ball. Hanley Dexter is a season batter, one apiece. Outside corner. There's one in a, it's a Texas leaguer in the center field. Hanley's going to get on. Pete Hanley looking great still. Yes, sir. So one on with no outs and in steps Buster Biggs. He's neutral and finishes one for three with a double. Hanley Dexter's with speed at first base. First pitch to Buster Biggs. And it's a roller. And they're going to throw it to first. They're going to they're going to let Hanley Dexter's take second, but they take Buster Biggs. So one out with uh, one on. Sturdy Woodman steps in. Yeah, he's one for three with a single. They got a fast runner in scoring position. If Woodman gets one to the outfield, he scores. The fans know it. They're cheering hard. They follows that back up the wall and won the count. Pressure way up on him to 6 5 5. That one fades outside, misses one piece. Now, 10th pitch by Grump Everbright. Just turn. Goes back to second base, but Hanley is in there. Hanley, I don't think he's going to steal third, but you never know. That's inside. That one's inside ball, 2 2 on the count. Two. Sturdy Woodman. Ball inside. That one's up high inside. 3 1. He got a hitter's pitch to a great hitter. Ball Checks on it. It is a good call. And now he's on first. Pete will walk. Yes, sir. So runners at first and second with out. one out. In steps Steve Montstuy. He's neutral and fit. Power versus right hand pitching. He's 0 for 3 today. Yep. Looks like Steve Montstuy might take seat. They're going to bring in Ham Slamas. Ham Slamis, the B minus ranked shortstop pinch hitter. He's hitting 314 with three home runs, 15 RBIs. He's neutral and fit. He's got about average power. Uh, well, a little bit less than average power, less than average contact, and poor speed on the base pass. So Ham Slamis with two on and one out. There's a shot. Oh, and just got around a little bit early into the corner foul. Oh. That's in it for calls second strike. Very quickly, two strikes on Ham Slamis. Throw back to second, and Hanley Dexterz is back. No balls, two strikes, one out. And there's a roller to the second baseman, and they're going to try and turn two. And Ham Slamis beats it out. So they get the, the runner at second, but Ham Slamis is able to beat it out. So runners at first and third with two outs and in steps Hammer Long Ballo. Way to go, Hammy. Way to go, Hammy. Now that's going to pull Grump Everbright. Uh, I think the Beagles did their job there. Grump's going to leave the game, uh, and they're bringing in a little early. I mean, they're bringing in the uh, A minus ranked Joseph Broseth, the relief pitcher. He's got a 7 3 4 ERA, 168 with 37 Ks. He's known mostly for his velocity, but he also has really good junk and good accuracy. He's mostly well wristed, throws a four finger, two finger, and a slider, but it's going to be a double switch. They're also going to pull Tiny Legrand, the catcher. Uh, and they're going to bring in our old friend Johnson Swanson. Uh, no errors, 263 average on the season, two home runs. He's locked in and well. Um, much better fielder and a stronger arm. So they're hoping that uh, Johnson Swanson can throw him down. And welcome, Johnson. Good to see you back here in Red Rock. <laughs> First pitch is a ball. One only count by Joseph Rose. He's got runners in the corners of one with two outs. Pressure way up. Late swing, foul back off the wall. One and two. He got hammer along the ball with the plate. Hard one in a run in the center field. Everyone's running, but this will be caught by James to end the side. Dang, damn it. So we're going to hold, go into the top of the seventh score, tied 5 5. Johnson Swanson's first at bat. Rays Rufo, two for three with a home run and a strikeout. Dick, Dirk Sportswood, 0 for three. Ortiz at 89 pitches with nine strikeouts, giving up nine hits. Johnson Swanson. 
Johnson Swanson locked in and well. Yeah. Beavis is, oh, oh yeah, we got to make some changes. But not only slam us, though, I think Beavis yeah. is, is, uh. Now in the game, right. Fiona Clark. All right, Ham Slam is going to take the seat. They're going to bring in Fiona Clark, the catcher. Fiona Clark with one error. She's got a 258 batting average, one home run. She's neutral in pitch. She's got uh, less than average speed on the base pass, but she's a good fielder with a strong arm. And then uh, Beavis Ortiz is going to take a seat, and they're going to bring in Gasser Morris. Gasser Morris, the A-minus ranked relief pitcher with a 3.94 ERA, a 1.0 whip, 40 strikeouts. He's neutral and fit. He's got very good velocity, poor junk, and uh, good accuracy. He's fully rested. He's known as a specialist. He throws a forcing fastball, a cut fastball, a slider, and a changeup. So the first person to face off against Johnson Swanson is Gasser Morris. Gasser Morris, the southpaw. Late swing foul back up the wall when the count. Good cut by Johnson. Pressure up as the hot corners want to take the lead yet again. As a roller back the mound, Morris picks it up, whips it to first. Luckily, he hit that to a pitcher, and that's going to get there quick. And Johnson Swanson not happy. Rays Rufo two for three with a home run single, three RBIs. He's having a great day. So he's going to be uh, Gasser Morris' biggest challenge right now. Oh, first pitch brushes him back off the plate. Shows him who's in charge. One no count. And he comes low and away early. Swing. Like, is that that changeup of his? I don't know what that is. Yeah, that's probably, or no, he doesn't have a change. Yeah, he does have a changeup. Change There's another strike now. One and two the count. To the right fielder, Ray's Rufo. Oh, he checks, doesn't chase. Good pitch, though. Get some more. He's got a scratch. Two and two. Seventh pitch. Here at the top of the seventh once gets his second out against the uh, corners right fielder. It's a grounder. That's going to drift. Foul. Sturdy Wooden picks it up. Resets it. We're still two piece. Fans cheering on the gas man. Pitched here for many years with the Sandcats. And now he's a B Wolf. That one misses inside. Full and 3 2. We got a full count. Everybody leaning forward. Wanting to know what's going to happen here. Swings. Fouls off the wall. Good cut. Still 3 2. He's getting the pitch count up. He's going to throw his 10th pitch to his oh, second no. batter. Right in there. Foul ball. Third base line. It's like Pete knew that was coming. 11th pitch. Can't get past the Rufo. Fouls that back toward his own dugout. New ball. Fans getting impatient. Three and two now. Swing to a strike three. All right. It took him a while. But he, he earned that one, I tell you. Dirk Sportswood 0 for 3 and 10. So let's see if he hits. Yeah, they're going to keep him in. They need the first baseman there. Gasser and Moore should make quick work of him. Foul ball, first base line. Hard foul ball. Oh, one the count to Dirk Sportswood. Guess more's 14th pitch. It's a flubber on the ground. Oh, uh, two. They couldn't tell. Oh. They couldn't. They couldn't tell who was going to go for it, and they both sort of stutter stepped. And he makes it the first. Now you got Jeb jumps over for three with a single. Yeah, they were competing. One would pull away, then the other would pull away, and uh, fouled back up the net. Oh, one the count. Slow runner at first base. Not too much to worry about. The pressure way up though. Hot corners keep taking the lead when the Beavils give it to them. Bertha Banks picks it up off the ground. They're just going to need one, so they throw the first and close side, Pete. All right, so we're going to head into the bottom of the seventh. Score still tied 5 5. Bertha Banks 2 for 3. Freddie Knox 2 for 3. And Magic Moore 2 for 3 with a double and a strikeout. Joseph Broseph threw three pitches. CRA is at a 7.28. This is the heart of the lineup for today. These guys are hitting. Bertha Banks locked in a fit 2 for 3 with two singles. Yeah. Let's get something going here, Bertha. First pitch to Bertha. There's a roller to the second baseman. And he's going to pick it up, make the throw to Sportsman at first for the first out. So one up, one down, and in steps Freddie Knox. Yeah, she was looking for that low inside pitch. Pressure way up. Freddie Knox, two for three. Unusually good day for Freddie. Fans cheering. That one breaks back in for a strike. Oh, on the count. That one way outside. Ball one. Good patience, Freddie. One apiece. Fans clap for him. There's another good patience. Two and one. It's a quiet stadium right now. Ooh, oh, somehow that makes the top out of strike zone. Yeah, two apiece. Low and away. Good patience. Good eye. Three and two. It's like a pitching machine. Rapid fire. Fouls that back off. Still three and two. Oh, Gets no. under it. That's the easy pop up to right field. Everyone waves it off. But the shortstop, Jeff Jones, comes out and grabs that for the second out. Dang, damn it. Two outs, Magic more neutral. Vic got good connection versus left-handed pitching. He's two for three with a double, a single, and a strikeout. So two outs and nobody on. Magic Moore oh. lifts that one into left field. The left one, fielder's two, calling for it, and Belter will make the catch for the third out. So we're going to head into the top of the eighth. 
Still knotted up at five. Bo Belter two for three with a triple and a strikeout. Aliyah Price 0 for three with two strikeouts. And Dig Affordos first at back. Esther Morris threw 16 pitches, racked up a strikeout and gave up one hit in his half of the seventh. Bo Belter neutral and fit. Two for three with a triple and a single. Bo Belter, the left fielder. First pitch to Bo Belter. Fouled off. Strike one. No balls, one strike. Let's retire Belter here. There's a hot smash foul along the third baseline. Now he's in the hole. No balls, two strikes. Belter's been on two base too often today. Allen's fouled straight back. Making Morris throw some pitches. No balls, two strikes. Swing and a miss, strike three. Down goes Bo Belter. Thank you, Gasser. Get him out of here. One out and in steps Aaliyah Price. She's tense but fit. She's 0 for 3 today. I believe she struck out twice. Hey. Nobody on. One out. Top of the eighth. Score tied at five. There's a hot smash, but it's foul straight back. No balls in a strike to Aaliyah Price, the third baseman. That one's outside. Ball one. Price held off. One and one. There's a roller to Freddie Knox. He's going to charge it. He's going to let Sturdy Woodman get the first, and then he makes the throw for the second out. Two up, two down, and in steps De a Dig Affordo, the shortstop. He's oh, hitting a .086. No home runs, no RBIs. Affordo came in as part of a double switch. Two outs, nobody on in the top of the eighth. Swing and a miss, strike one. Gasser Morris just overpowered him with that pitch. That one's inside. Ball one. One ball, one strike to Diggo Fordo, the shortstop. There's a roller to Hanley Dexter. He'll pick it up and make the throw to Woodman for the third out. Three up, three down. We're heading into the bottom of the eighth. It is still tied. 5-5. Five, five. Gasser Morris is first at bat. Hanley Dexter is one for three with a walk. Buster Biggs one for four with a double. Joseph Broseph at 12 pitches. His ERA is at a 7.09. Gasser Morris neutral and fit. He's a specialist. He's got no batting average so far this year. That's well, yeah, why. Isn't it? yeah. His reticle is that's, teeny. Yeah, well, the Beavles need some offense, but that's okay. First one, uh, second one's there first. First, a ball and a strike. There, there, a strike. There were one and two. Just oh, yeah, swing so him a strikeout. Jesus. Yeah, he's not happy. I wanted him to throw pitches, but that, you know. Henley next there is locked in and fit. He's one for three with a single and a walk. Brosif at 16 pitches in the bottom of the eighth. There's a pop-up in the center field. The center fielder is there calling for it. And Geronimo James will make the catch. Two up, two down, and in steps Buster Biggs. He's neutral and fit. He saw that high fastball and he thought it's gone, but he just didn't get up enough. Fans cheering him on. The Beagles want to get up. Uh, they should be ahead of these guys, and it's a little embarrassing at this point no. of the season that they're not. Two quick balls to Buster Biggs, 2-0. and oh. oh, no. He reaches out, grounder to second, throws the first three up, three down again. Yeah. So as we head into the top of the ninth inning, hot quarters, five runs on 10 hits. Spewels, five runs on 11 hits. Geronimo James, one for three with two strikeouts. Joseph Brosov's first at bat. Johnson Swanson, 0 for one. Gasser Morris at 26 pitches with two strikeouts. The center fielder. Geronimo James, neutral and fit. Now batting, Pressure up. James is going to have a seat. Interesting. I guess, uh, I don't know what's going on with James. He's got good contact, no power. He's going to say they're going to bring in Nori Mio Miyoshi. Nori Miyoshi, left field woman. B minus rank, number 32. 32 has got a 269 average, no home runs, three RBIs. She's pretty middle of the road uh, for a player. She's known as an RBI, done, but she's a stealer. So I think they're hoping she gets on. And gets second. Pressure way up here in the top of the ninth. He was threatening to give up the lead again. That one's a little bit high. One of the count to the taped up ankled left field woman. Strike. Fools are on that one. In there for a strike. And now we're at one apiece. Fans clapping. We got some hot corners fans who made the trip out here to Phoenix to watch their team. Oh, wow. Anticipated that one. Pulled it left. Third baseline. Hard foul ball. One and two the count. Gasser Morris almost gets that one past her. Fouls it back off the wall. One and two. Guess Morris looking good. 31st pitch. She gets a piece, fouls it off the net. Still one and two. May have to bring in the closer if we have to go extra innings. The fans pushing behind him. Clinking up. There he gets the K. He has their support beat. And they're bringing the locked up Joseph Brosov. He's going to sit. No, he's going to hit. Wow. His first at bat, the Joseph. I guess they need him to go. So Gaston Morris is going to hope to drop the other pitcher. Here, first pitch. 
right in for strike. Goes right at him. Four on the count. Hopefully get out of this in 35 pitches. Two quick strikes. There's 34. Here comes 35. So we're going to strike three. Closing out with a K. Now we just got one more to go. And it's our old friend Johnson Swanson over one of the day. No mostly for his power. Fans cheering here. Castle Morris, one more to go and get to the bottom of the ninth. Hard foul, third baseline. Everyone that Johnson's hit has been tagged hard. Just no not pie. straight. That one goes up high and misses ball one now. We're one and one. With two outs, top over the ninth to you. 38th pitch by Gaston Morris. And jams him inside, fouls up the wall one and two. He's got him in a hole. Fans behind him again. Want that K? Oh, fouls it off the wall. Still one and two. The specialist going to work. Oh, that one misses just high. There were two, two, two. 41st pitch here. They're pushing the gas man. The gas man. Here he goes. Sweet miss strike three. <laughs> All right, so we're heading into the bottom of the ninth. All knotted at five. Sturdy Woodman one for three with a walk. Fiona Clark's first at bat. Hammer long ball of one for three with a walk and a strikeout. Brosif at 20 pitches with a strikeout. He's the ERA is at a 6.92. Let's get it going here. Sturdy Woodman locked in and fit one for three with a single and a walk. Come on, Sturdy. One homer will end this thing. First pitch to Sturdy Woodman is high. Ball one. One ball, no strike. Brosif at 21. Make it 22. That one's low ball two. Two balls and no strikes. That's outside. Ball three. Three straight balls to Sturdy Woodman. That catches the outside corner for a called strike. Three and one. Swing and a miss. Strike two. Full count. Three and two now. That's outside ball four. Brosif walks the leadoff batter. So one on with no outs. In steps Fiona Clark. Well, that could have gone either way. That last pitch. Oh, they're going to sit Brosif. Wow. They're really cycling through this. A minus for an A minus. They're going to bring in Klaus to game. As we saw, Klaus came here from I forgot where. Uh, closing pitcher. Uh, got a 506 ERA, 144 whip, 16 Ks. He's well rested. He's known as a K man. He throws a fastball and mixes it up with the curveball. And it's a bottom line to pressure through the roof. Eagles catcher, late swing foul off the net. Uh, one, oh, and one the count. Ah. Inside swing and a miss, strike two. Got an average speed runner at first base. Outside corner, this is ball. Good patience there, Fiona. Who came in late game to replace Steve Monster. Ah. Swings and misses that high inside pitch. Jeez, Jimmy didn't, didn't even touch it. One out. One on with one out, hammer long ball, a one for three with a single and a walk. I was at least hoping you'd foul it off or something. <laughs> one out, first pitch to long ball is low, ball one. One ball, no strikes. That one's low as well, ball two, two balls and no strikes. That's high, ball three. Three straight balls to hammer long ball. That one's no. lifted into center field. The center fielder, Belter, will make the catch and throw it in. So two outs with a runner at first base and in steps Bertha Banks. Two for four, two singles. Yeah, uh, he shouldn't have swung at that one. But Bertha Banks can do it. Fans cheering. Bertha, hard liner to left center field. It's all oh, caught at the track. And God we're going to dang it. Innings, Pete. Jeez, oh, Pete, come oh. on. We're going into the 10th, knotted at 5. Ray's Rufo, 2 for 4, a home run and 2 strikeouts. Dirk Sportswood, 1 for 4. Jeb Jumps, 1 for 4. The strikeout, Gasser Morris at 41 pitches with 5 strikeouts. Right Ray's Rufo. Rufo, neutral and fit, 2 for 4, a home run, a single, and 3 RBIs. Yeah, I mean, she, she hit that one square. She had it lined up. I don't... Wow. First pitch to Rufo's in there for a called strike. Strike 1, got to shake that one off now. Get this one here. That one's ripped foul into the stands along the right field line. So two quick strikes on Ray's Rufo. And there's a roller to Sturdy Woodman. He's going to pick it up and he's going to flip it to Gasser Morris at first base for the first out. So one up, one down, in steps Dirk Sportswood. He's tense but fit. He's one for four with a single. One out with nobody on. Morris's velocity is starting to show some wear, but he's locked in and fit. First shot to Gasser Morris is a one hopper to Freddie Knox. He picks it up, makes the throw to Sturdy Woodman for the second out. Two up, two down, and in steps Jeb Jumps. He's locked in and fit. It's one for four with a single. He's known as a stealer around the league. Morris known as a specialist. There's a shot. That's getting into left field. And Buster Biggs yes. will catch it on the run. 
for the third out. So three up, three down. We're heading into the bottom of the tenth. Still not at it. Five. Freddie Knox, two for four. Magic Moore, two for four with a double and a strikeout. Gasser Morris, 0 for one with a strikeout. Klaus the game at nine pitches given and racked up one strikeout. Freddie Knox, neutral and fit, two for four, two singles with two RBIs. Come on, Freddie, let's get her going here. Klaus the game, first pitch is rocketed on the ground into left field for a clean single, and Freddie Knox will take first. So one on with no outs in the bottom of the 10th. Magic Moore stepping in. Pressure to the roof. He's two for four with a double and a single, two RBIs. He's a good man to go for it. There goes Freddie for second base. The pitch low, the throw by Swanson, not in time. And Freddie Knox is in scoring position, Pete. The fans know it's a pop-up. He's gonna have to come back to second base. That's gonna be caught in left field by Mayoshi. On. One down. One out, in steps Gasser Morris. He's locked in and fit, 0 for 1 today. This would be a good time to pinch for him, yeah. <laughs> this yep. a runner at second base with one out. If they can get that runner, if they can get Freddie Knox from second to home, the game is over. Gasser mm. Morris was looking a little tired. Put in a good day's work, though. Um, and he's going to take a sit. Poke they're going to bring Foster. in Poke Foster, the C-plus right fielder. He's hitting 237 with no home runs, two RBIs. He's neutral and fit. He's got poor power. He's got uh, good contact, but uh, poor speed on the base pass. So with one out, Poke Foster comes in to pinch hit. Right. Ooh. Ooh. First pitch, swing and a miss, strike one. Throw back to second, and Freddie Knox is back. One on with one out. That one's rocketed to uh, Leah Price, who's going to th make the throw to first, and Freddie Knox yes. will take third. So with two outs, a runner 90 feet from the win, in steps Hanley Dexteris. <clears throat> oh yeah, Hanley one for four with a walk. Boy, the fans cheer him on if Hanley get this one for a single. Ooh. Oh, early swing foul ball toward his own dugout. Oh, one the count. Second pitch high and inside is a ball. Good patience, good eye. One and one now. That one misses low. Ball two, two and one. Good eyes. A little nervous throwing to Hanley. Makes a strike there now at two, two, two. Tough out against a K man. High swing fouls it back off the wall. Still not enough into a piece. High swing, fouls it back off the net. Two, two, he knows he likes it high and inside. He's going high on everyone to get him to swing under it. Two apiece. Fouls it on first baseline. Hanley making contact. Late swing, foul up the wall. We're not enough at two. Come on. Fouls it back off the wall. He's making him throw a 25th pitch by Klaus the game. Way high. All three, good patience. Full count. Fudge so me. Case him. Fudge Case me. Him. Come on. Oh, 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 oh Handley. <laughs> well, all right. Well, um, what do we go with? Barajas or do we go with the... Uh... Uh, probably, probably York, right? Or, or... Yeah. Oh, come yeah. on. What We're going to go Mace, Mace York. Closing pitcher. 3 4 80 or a one weight 4 whip 7 Ks. There's a four-figure slider and a curveball. She's well rested. People struggling to get out of this game with a team they should really clobber. Yeah, so we're going into the 11th. It's still tied 5-5. Bo Belter, Leah Price, and Diga Fordo are going to face Macy York. I just now took a big drink. Bo <laughs> Belter, 10th, but fit two for four with a triple and a single. Sorry. That's all right, man. All right, number 49, the closer facing the tense center fielder. Pop up to first base line. That's going to go foul. The hammer long ball is not going to be able to get there. That's going to be off the wall. Uh, oh, and won the count. I don't know if the fans, if he would have dove, he could have hurt himself. Fans cheering on York. I think she can get him to hit it into a grounder, ground out. She throws. It's a little one right in front of the base. Fiona Clark picks it up, throws it over to first. Gets that first out. The Eagles fans cheer. They want that win, Pete. Yeah, they do. This is a tight one. This is a big, uh, important win as well. Yeah. And she's thrown to a tense third base woman. Hard one on the ground. Freddie Knox dives. Oh, and he just slows it down. That's going to be a single. And, uh, all right, she's at first base, but the people setting up that double play. As in comes Digaforto, the shortstop, pressure through the roof. 0 for 1 in the day. Let's see if he hits. Oh, he will. Got a fast runner at first base. We got a good arm behind the plate. So we'll see what happens here. First pitch checks in there, strike. Oh, and won the count. 
Second pitch fouls it off. First baseline, 0 2. She's got him in a hole. Fans cheering her on. Oh, late swing fouls off the wall. Good breaking pitch. First baseline, still 0 2. Seventh pitch. Jams him. Oh, and they dive into right field. The runner's going to get going for third. Hammer throws it. Not in time. And you got runners in the corners now with just one out pressure way up. Niori Miyoshi, 0 for 1 on the day. And uh, you got a slow runner first base, so double play still an option. That can close things out, wipe out the, the side there. That one's low, ball one, one the count. Or one and no the count to Nori Miyoshi. Misses ball two, two and oh. Going to throw a tenth pitch. Broken bat, foul ball first base line, gets a new club. Two and one to the left fielder. That one misses inside three when he got a hitter's pitch. In danger. Break. There's a strike. Now 3-2 full count. I was saying danger of walking the bases loaded. Fans cheering her on. Breaking pitch. Line ball left field. Buster Biggs dives back. They can't get it. They're going to get at least one run. He throws to third base. And the run's coming home. And they're going to get two runs off that one, Pete. And the hot corners are going to win the game. Good game. Sure. Now way down. Cost the game coming in. Came in. Locked in. I can't believe we're losing to the St. Louis High Corps. The run differential between these teams is 70. Splash his butt twice, one apiece. Got a fast runner at first base. Macy York now tense. There's a beautiful bunt. They only can go to only go to first because the runner was already took like five steps and was at third base. Johnson Swanson, 0 for 2. Threatening to score again. It's 7-5. Hot corners. There's one into the glove of Hanley Dexterous for the third out beat. Yeah, but they put two on the board. It's 7-5 as we head into the bottom of the 11th. Buster Briggs 1 for 5 with a double. Sturdy Woodman 1 for 3 with two walks. And Fiona Clark 0 for 1 with a strikeout. Klaus the game at 26 pitches with two strikeouts, giving up one hit. Buster Briggs tense, but Fitty's 1 for 5 with a double today. Now in the game, Seymour Sox. Bo Belter's going to take a seat. They're going to bring in Seymour Sox, the B-ranked right fielder. Sox with no errors, 231 average and no home runs. He's neutral and fit. He's got good speed. He's about an average fielder, but he's got a really strong arm out there in right field. So, Rays Rufo and Seymour Sox. First pitch to Buster Biggs is in there for called strike, strike one. Swing and a miss, strike two. Klaus the game, known as a K-man. That's inside. That one's inside ball one. One ball, two strikes now, and a Buster Biggs. Inside. That's inside ball two. Two balls and two strikes. That one's lifted into uh, foul territory along the first base line. Sports with the first baseman's able to pull it in and make the catch for the first out. Sturdy Woodman locked in and fit. Klaus the game is showing where right now. Yeah. <coughs> They're going to sit him, bringing Rachel Rhubarb, starter slash uh, reliever. 675 ERA, 175 whip, 31 Ks. You know, mostly for her accuracy. She's also got good velocity and fair junk. She's um, she's sort of well rested because it was a four finger, two finger, mixes up with a slider and change up. And she's going to face 30 women, the locked in batter. He's going to try and get the Beagles tied back up. Sidearm sling misses low. One of the count pressure up. That one's right in. There's a hard liner in the left center field. And Sturdy Woodman's going to round first on his way to second. He's going to get a clean slide in for the double. Way to go, Sturdy. Yes, sir. So one out double. B will show us they still got some life. So Fiona Clark, the catcher, neutral and fit. She's 0 for 1 today. Sturdy Woodman at first base. First pitch, swing and a miss, strike one. That one's high ball one. One ball, one strike to Fiona Clark, the B-Wolf catcher. That one's popped up into right field. And the right fielder's going to make the catch. Sturdy Woodman's going to test the arm, but he's going to think better of it. So he's going to go wow. back. Diglett Fordo makes the catch and holds him. So two outs, runner at second base, in steps Hammer Long Ballo. All right, Hammy. Hammer can tie this thing up with one swing of the bat. First one misses. Ball one, one of the count. Fish. Oh, early swing, strike Way one, early. one apiece now. No, no worry of a double play. Late swing, foul ball back behind the net. Johnson Swanson back, but it's going to come off the wall. One and two in a hole. Fans cheering him on. Late swing, foul back. It's hard to read these pitches from this side on pitcher. Tenth pitch. Right in there. Fouled back again. Uh, Swanson going back, but again. Fouled up behind home plate. Too quiet feeling. Ah, swing to strike three. Another K. They're K-ing us today, Pete. 
Me, and they're can me. <laughs> I think that was like five Ks. For me, yeah, I suck tonight. <laughs> God damn. Oh, our last regular season game in this we laid building up is an freaking egg. Embarrassing lost against the worst placed team in the league. And this puts us against the wall for our last two games in the in the wild cards. Oh man, you know, well, Beagles, no, Hot Corners, no, Beagles scored first in the second. They get one. Hot Corners answer right back in the third, tie it up. Beagles go right back in the fourth, go out ahead, and the Hot Corners answer with authority, getting three runs. Beagles answer right back in three of their own. Hot Corners answer again, getting another run in the sixth. And then it stays that way. We go to extra innings, and they just punch us in the 11th, get two more. Hot Corners end up scoring seven runs on 13 hits. The Beagles score five runs on 13 and get an error as well. Ugh, not good enough for offense. For the Hot Corners, Ray Rufo goes two for five. With scores a run, gets a home run, three RBIs, two strikeouts. Good day for Ray's Rufo. Uh, Dirk Sportswood goes one for five. Um, Jeff Jumps one for five with a strikeout. Will Belter two for five with a run and two strikeouts. Uh, Sox comes in a sub, doesn't hit. Alia Price one for five with a run and two strikeouts. Turbo Miles over two with a strikeout. Uh, Bubbles Garcia is a sub, he goes over one with a strikeout. Diga Fordo is a sub, he goes one for two with a run. Uh, James, Geronimo James goes one for three uh, with a home, no, with an RBI and two strikeouts. Uh, Nori. Nori Miyoshi goes one for two, gets two RBIs with a strikeout. Uh, oh, must have been, yeah, two RBI. Uh, yeah, she was the one that gave him the go-ahead. Yeah. DeGrand goes two for three with two runs, one home run, one RBI. It's a good game for DeGrand, the catcher. Joseph Brosev subs, goes over one of the strikeout, cost the game subs, doesn't hit, and Kay Rhubarb also subs, doesn't hit, and uh, we still got more. Kaiser... Because they used everyone today. Yeah. One for the run. They really wanted that win. Um, uh, everybody comes in, subs doesn't hit. Johnson Swanson subs in. He goes 0 for 3 with a K. Which is exactly why we put him on a bus. <laughs> for the B-Wolves, Hadley Dexteris goes 1 for 5 with a walk and a strikeout. Not much help there. Buster Briggs 1 for 6. That Not much help there. <laughs> Sturdy Woman. He's two for four. He did score a run, and he uh, walked twice. So he was uh, even though he was two for four, he was on base all four times. Uh, Steve Montstuart, 0 for 3. No help there. Ham Slamis, 0 for 1. Uh, Fiona Clark, 0 for 2 with a strikeout. Hammer Longballo, 1 for 5. Scored two runs, walked once, and struck out twice. No help there. Bertha Banks, 2 for 5 with a run. Scored a run. Uh, Freddie Knox, 3 for 5 and scored a run. Um, and he had two RBIs as well. For uh, Magic Moore, two for five with two RBIs and a strikeout. Beavis Ortiz goes one for three with an RBI and a strikeout. Gasser Morris goes 0 for one with a strikeout. Um, Polk Foster, 0 for one, and, and um, Macy York did not get an official at bat. Seven Ks today, and like I say, I must yeah, I must they, have accounted for like five or six of them. They dropped us. Up. Yeah. Well, and um, you know, I was, I was up in the air about Pope Foster. I was thinking about bringing in um, Dick Berger because he's a power hitter, but we need all we just needed a, a hit. Right. So you know, Foster was was more likely to make contact, and it's like, well, oh, shoot. No, you know. yeah. Anyway. Noah Kaiser goes 4.2 innings for the hot corners, gives up 10 hits, five earned runs, uh, two walks, two strikeouts. His ERA is up at a 5.63. Now he's 1 and 3 on the season. Everbright goes in inning, gives up just one hit, walks a batter, gets a strikeout. His ERA is at a 3.60, 4 1 on the season. Joseph Brosef, two, two and a third innings, uh, walks a batter, and strikes out a batter. His ERA drops to a 6.92. He's 0 and 1 and 0 on the season. Klaus DeGame comes in, he earns the win. Two and a third innings, gives up just one hit, strikes out two batters. Uh, ZRA falls to a 4.72. He's now three and three and seven on the season. Uh, you were just saying, well, he's only two and three, and now yeah. he's three and three. Uh, K. Rhubarb comes and gets a save. Two thirds of an inning, gives up just one hit, strikes out a batter. ERA falls to a 6.65. She's now two, four, and one on the season. Uh, and for the Beavis, Beavis Ortiz pitched uh, six innings, gave up nine hits, five earned runs, nine. He struck out nine, gave up two long balls. His ERA is a 4.39. He's going to end the season with a 4-4 four and four record. 
Uh, Gasser Morris came in, pitched four innings, gave up one hit, struck out five. He's going to end, uh, well, he's uh, leaving with a 3.48 ERA, and his record will remain three wins, two losses, and four saves. And then Macy York will get the loss. She pitched one inning, gave up three hits, one earned run. Her ERA is at 3.97, and her record falls to no wins, two losses, and four saves. Three stars of the game. Tiny DeGrand, the catcher, goes two for three with a home run, a double. He had an RBI and he scored two runs himself, although one of those RBI, the RBI is also one of the runs he scored, which is uh, the home run. So, yep. cheap, oh. cheap. <laughs> <laughs> Another uh, second star of the game, the A-ranked center fielder Ray's group on the other home run hitter. Number two goes two for five with a home run, gets three RBIs and scores a run as well. And then uh, rounding out the three stars, Freddie Knox, the only B-Wolf to make the list. The uh, B-minus ranked second baseman goes three for five. Two RBIs, scored a run, and stole a base. So good day for Freddie Knox. The gamer stats, Tommy G with eight hits, four RBIs, one stolen base, seven strikeouts, a contribution of 59%. PJ with five hits, one RBI, and seven strikeouts for a contribution of 41%, and that's generous. <laughs> oh, not the way we wanted to end our regular season career no. by dropping to the worst team in the game. Yeah. Just, oh, man. I mean, oh. And they get to now talk about how they, they, they've basically beaten the trade division. Yeah. Because the game before yeah. this, they beat up on the nemesis, and now they come into town and they beat up on us. So, Yeah, now looking at the uh, wild card standings, so for the standings, I mean, we, there's a lot of games. There's a lot of teams playing. Uh, we we cannot get first. We're three and a half games out, so the Nemesis is locked up first place in the trade division. Even if they lose their last games, if we win both of our last ones, we can't catch them. Right. Um, so we got to go for that wild card. And as far as that goes, we have a three and a half game lead ahead of the Herbosaurs. Yeah, and uh, so and what does that team. mean? Does that mean? I think it means we, we got it. I, like you say, even if they, well, I don't know. Isn't that do, uh, do well, they, Let's see if they win two, we lose two. They would be twenty-three and twenty. We'd be twenty-five and nineteen. So we'd still so have we just, a better record. Yeah, do we just clinch the playoffs? I think like so. We did. It should say, should oh, well, I guess it doesn't do no, that until the end of the season. Yeah. Well, I guess that's bittersweet, folks. On, uh, on the yeah. second to last game of the, of the wait, 21 and 20, so they played 41 games, and there's 44. They have three games. Okay, so, so they, they, yeah. So they can get 24 and 20, but the worst we could do is 25 and 19. So, yeah, I think we're... I think we I think we clinched the playoffs today. Woo! Yeah! Yeah, what a way. That's... Oh, thank goodness. So we, we will play in this building again. They're we'll popping corks in the, in the locker room yeah. for the yeah. loss. Yeah. yeah. At least <laughs> we'll play at least one more game at home in Red Rock Park, and it's going to be against the Nemesis. Uh, that could be the end yeah. of our career right there. And in this town, the Nemesis could sweep us in the first round. But all right, that's... That's good to know, yeah. So I guess we'll, it'll be interesting to see what the herbivores come at us with. Yep. But, uh, all right, well, let, there's a little bit of news. Not a whole ton. Uh, there's just two items, but uh, I'll go over this first one. The Warblers, at the end of the game, signed Benny Balmer, our old friend from down in Fort Lauderdale. Used to play for the um, the, the uh, Freebooters. Replacing Guy Gold. Wow. So, yeah, Guy Gold, we, well, we knew him from the, from the Overdogs. They let him go um, right at the eve of the playoffs. Eagle was A-ranked, 99 connectivity. Great hitter, making $11 million a year at 30 years old. They're going to bring in the 42-year-old Benny Balmer, C-ranked, you known mostly for his arm. Benny Balmer is going to make $1.6 million a year to close out his season in, uh, in, in Colorado. Yeah, and at 42 years old, it's more than likely going to be the closeout of his career as well. Yeah. Uh, player development slugger aid. Fiona Clark is raring to take on a new training regime for three hundred seventy-one thousand four hundred dollars. She can gain pay. Uh, she can gain two 
to her power with a 10% chance of gaining 7 or and uh, gain 1 to her connectivity. Oh, wow, yeah. Hmm. So that would give her uh, 37 power and 26 connectivity with a possibility of 7. That would take her up over 40. Yeah. 42, wow. I think. Oops, oops, oops. All right, well, shoot. Yeah, I guess, all right, we won't take up too much longer because that's already yeah. been kind of a long kind of a long game. But, uh, man, we lost we lost to a team that we should have beat easily thinking we needed these games to the playoffs. But as it turns out, even losing bad in the hot corners was all right because uh, the Herbosaurus just couldn't do it. And the Nemesis are facing the Herbosaurus in the next game too. So I think yeah. it'll be a moot point. I think we'll just play two practice playoff games uh, on Tacoma. We'll face the Herbosaurus for two set series there in Emerald Diamond our last games being called in that building for this team. So until we see you up in Washington State, this is Tommy G. And this is Pete J. And we're saying, get out of here.